Lagos Racecourse is the scene, and it's the afternoon of Nigeria's great day, with thousands awaiting the climax and resolved to relish every minute leading up to it. Princess Alexandra, with Sir James Robertson, the retiring Governor-General, must have enjoyed the whole jubilant atmosphere of the occasion. A first-class show was put on for the benefit of spectators. Entertainers fairly let themselves go, tumbling head over heels with delight. Celebrating, however, as we all know, can be a bit exhausting. The princess was received with yells from the kids. Her friendly charm had quickly made her very popular. It was as the representative of Her Majesty the Queen that Princess Alexandra of Kent returned in the evening. She was about to hand over Nigeria's constitution. And presently, quoting the Queen's own words, she was to wish Nigeria a great and noble future. This was the moment for which the country's leaders, in partnership with British authority, had patiently worked. The Nigerians themselves emphasise that all has been done in friendship, and that friendship will continue. Meanwhile, top-ranking Nigerians, wearing their finest robes, watched in dignified silence as the climax of Independence Day was reached. In handing over the documents to the Federal Prime Minister, Alhaji Sir Abu Bakr Tafawa Balewa, her Royal Highness handed over sovereignty to a new nation. The Union flag flying for the last time. Princess Alexandra was present, of course, for the final ceremony that took place on the stroke of midnight. This was the dramatic takeover by the new nation's own green and white flag. The next day came the state opening of Parliament. Princess Alexandra, wearing a white embroidered gown and a diamond tiara, entered the chamber where 350 senators and representatives and many guests had assembled. This was the first session of the first parliament of the new Nigeria. Dr. Ezekwe, President of the Senate and Governor-General-designate, addressed the Princess, asking her to open Parliament by reading the speech from the throne. 